Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. For those that of you that watched my core workout video, thank you very much, I hope you liked it. Let's get on with this week's. So I'm very excited about talking to you guys this week. I'm gonna be explaining um, about my skills on the rings. So there's a Taluk 1 and a Taluk 2, but this week we're just gonna be talking about Taluk 1. So I'm excited to get started, okay. so. First of all, um, how did I come up with this skill? So I remember I was, I think I was like 10 years old, 10, maybe 11. Um, and a lot of gymnasts, when the coach says, um, okay, you've got 10 minutes towards the end of the session, you can do what you want. Uh, they go and play on trampoline, but I'd, I'd never liked the trampoline. I don't know why, I didn't enjoy it. So I would go um, on the rings on a machine called 50-50, where it just take away half your body weight, and then you can just, you're just able to hold anything. Um, and that's where I came up with it. Um, to be honest, like, I, I, it didn't, I didn't think about doing it. It wasn't one of them where I'd thought about, I thought about it and then I was like, oh, that would work. I was literally just playing about. I was doing crosses, Malteses, Azarian to crosses. And then next thing, um, I did a circle on it and then ended up in the Rodriguez position and, um, or Victorian position, some people would say. Um, and I just thought to myself, I was like, oh, uh, said to one of the gymnasts at the time, I oh, watched this, Do you, what was this? So then I did it, again, not thinking it was another skill. And he was like, I don't think I've ever seen that before. He was like, if, if uh, you competed that, that'd be your own skill. And then I just, I went off, I couldn't believe it. I'd call my coach over um, and I did it again. And he was like, yeah, if you do that, that's your own skill. And I remember I recorded it on my Sony Ericsson W810i that I had at the time. Um, and yeah, that was it. I was just training it all the time. And then, because I was young, I wasn't able to do it straight away by myself. I hadn't developed all the necessary strength that you need to be able to do a skill like that. So yeah, we're out, we're out in my first World Championships and it's an unbelievable experience. It was in Nanning, um, China. Um, and literally it was an incredible experience. The people, the competition, the atmosphere, the team that was out there with me was supporting me and Nar Wilson a lot. It was our first World Championships. So we were nervous, but excited, we're eager. So we did the team um, and then we had a couple of days before the rings final. Um, my coach, the, my personal coach, wasn't able to travel out there with us, but Barry Colley, um, our, all the coach that was looking after me at the time, um, had seen me working it at Lillishaw and mentioned would would I like to be able to do it, get my name in the code. Because um, you've got to remember at the time I was young, um, the likelihood of me getting a medal at that that time was was slim. Because um, literally I was up against um, the Van Gelders, um, the Patronuses, the people that I had look looked up looked up to from such a young age. So to be in that final for me was a dream come true anyway. To be standing next to them in a line, getting ready to do what I love and compete was is incredible. So the judges said they would rank it an F skill, which is one of the hardest skills on, on rings. Um, and I couldn't believe it. I remember I didn't sleep the night before. Um, I was up till very late. Um, I was sharing with Frank Baines at the time. He was like, Courtney, you need to get to bed now. Come on, you've got to come in the morning. But I was just too excited. I couldn't wait to get out there. Um, so we went out there and I was warming up and then I was thinking to myself, I haven't actually competed the routine I'm about to do before ever. Um, I was putting my skill in and then I was adding another skill that I'd never competed before. And I'd, I was doing the combination of the skills that I'd never really done in competition before as well. So that dawned on me a little bit and I was like, shall I do this, shall I not? I don't know, but the coach out there um, gave me the confidence that I needed. I went out there, um, did the talak. It was the best talak I think I've ever done. Uh, now the land, I think I took a step, did the best routine. I, I literally gave it my all. Um, and it was an amazing feeling, an amazing experience, something that I'll never forget. Thank you guys that messaged me all your questions and want to know, um, that messaged me on Twitter and Instagram. The question that stuck out with me the most was, how many competitions do I have in a year? Um, and we have roughly three national competitions um, and two major international competitions a year, which the major ones are Europeans and World Championships every year. 
and the Olympic Games every four years, which is the pinnacle, which is every, every gymnast's dream. Um, but also to qualify for, to get in the team for them major competitions, we have a lot of trials. So we have three, maybe four trials up at Lillishaw. Um, and then the national competitions are normally British Championships, which I know a lot of you fans go and watch and support us. Um, the English Championships and the London Open, um, which, yeah, obviously you guys come and support us, which you've been great at. Um, and I, I do love competing at them types of competitions because you get a really good feel with um, the crowd. They are close afterwards. Um, the amount of support we get from you, you ask for our signatures and pictures, which I love. Um, I like answering your questions as well. Um, so yeah, that's this week's question. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Can't wait to see you guys next week.